The following is a presentation of the Rowan Television Network. Thanks, Benny. I'm here with Whit Marslin. You had an amazing game today. You ran a 92-yard touchdown. What was going through your mind when you were running down the field? Um, it's kind of funny. Every Before every game, I watch a certain highlight tape, and in that highlight tape, one, the running back I watch, he runs 92 yards. So in my head, I'm just thinking, there's no way I'm really going to mimic one of my idols. So it was really cool to do. The offense line gave me a huge hole, and all I had to do was just run and not get caught by anybody. Do you ever feel a lot of pressure because you are one of the stars of the team? Do you ever feel a lot of pressure that the defense is like on you a lot? Oh, no, not by no means, because I know the guys in front of me are going to help me do what I need to do. And our defense is great. If anything, I'm putting pressure on them. So we just need to keep doing what we're doing. The past two games, we scored over 30 points. So that we really want to emphasize on scoring points. And we just got to keep the ball rolling. Coming to this game, you knew that William Patterson is a weaker team. How did you make sure you didn't stay complacent and you came out like on fire? The past few years I've been here, that's been our Achilles heel uh, to say. We always go out, and sometimes we play to the level of our opponents. So we just need to play to ourselves. We're not playing William Patterson, we're playing Rowan. So we just got to get out of our own head and just go out there and play football and execute our assignments. Um, this coming game against Morrisville, what are you going to do to prepare, to prepare to make sure you guys kill them at homecoming? Oh, it's a big game. Last year we went down there thinking they weren't a good team, and that's where our Achilles heel came, where we played to their level, and they ended up beating us pretty well. So we remember that 40-21 to 21 loss. So this week we're going to grind and practice, and we want to come out here and give a nice showing at homecoming. What's it feel to be the NJAC Player of the Week? I mean, it's a pretty impressive honors. How does that make you feel getting that recognition? Um, it's cool that I get to do it, but it's really the old line. Like, if without them, I can't run the way I do. So it's not only me. I get to go in the locker room like, oh, we did this. So mm -hmm. our, me and the five guys up front, it's kind of all of us. So when you do something well with the group, it makes it a lot better. So I witnessed you and number four doing a little uh, dance after that. What would you call that? Um, it's the shmoney dance. Me and Russ have been doing it. They start a little handshake. Like, we go can here. Me, can you show me what you guys do? We go here with the left, and we look at our watch because, you know, we just scored a touchdown, so it's touchdown time, and then we hit the dance like this. Get a little flavor Can we, can we it. practice it, me and you? Yeah, so All right, so what do you do? Other hand. This other hand. hand. So twice. One, two. You look, look at the, the watch. Side, and then we go here, <gasps> up, and then do it. And then just like that. It? Yep. Just like that. <laughs> well, thank you. You had a great game. We look forward thank to seeing you guys at homecoming. All right, I'm here with Billy McCarty. How do you think you did today? I mean, coming into the beginning of the season, you threw six interceptions the first game. What did you do to make sure that didn't happen again? Um, well, six picks is really bad. Very bad game. Um, I don't know, just a lot of film, kind of keep my mind off football, just, you know, watch my film, study, let it go, kind of just clear my head and just get back at it the next week. It's the only way you can, uh, can really overcome anything like that, six picks in one game. I haven't even thrown six picks in one season in my whole life, let alone one game. So it's pretty demoralizing at first, but got past it, and it's whatever. It's in the back of my mind. Yeah. Past, well, so. you did a great job today. Thank but you. what is it like working with Witt and all these guys that just they they run the ball so well? What is it like working with them? It's great. Um, you know, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of pressure off me personally, and um, even the line. Sometimes if they're not doing exactly what they need to do, Witt might be able to break a play when he normally wouldn't. So. Um, you know, it's, it makes the, the whole dynamic of the offense a lot easier. And, uh, you know. This was a conference thing. game. So, I don't know if you know, but it was your, your coach's 99th win. So, next weekend is going to be the 100th win, of course, he has. What are you going to do to make sure you bring it and make sure you guys get a lot of touchdowns next week? Um, I don't know. I mean, all week we're just going to practice as hard as we can. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Uh, so, hopefully we're not jinxing that <laughs> thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm, we're just going to work, uh, work our butts off and then uh, – just watch film and uh, come back out like we did this weekend. Fired up and ready to go. All right, well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. We'll see you next week, all right? All right thanks. All right, I'm here with Kurt Kingett. Um, you had an amazing game today. You got two interceptions. What were you thinking when that happened? I don't, honestly, they came right to me, so I was thinking, thank you. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, it was nice. Defense had a great performance today, and the line did a good job to make sure I could get those interceptions. Did the weather like have anything to do with it? I know like was a ball wet or anything like that? No, it wasn't too bad. Coming in, we thought it could be a lot more troublesome than it turned out to be. I mean, this is good football weather out here today. No two. Can't Not good for me. I'm freezing. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the defense is really strong. What did you guys do to prepare for this game? Because they are a weaker team. So what did you guys do to make sure you guys weren't like giving them any slack? Um, well, we always like to go at the end of practice, good versus good, so our ones against our offense's ones, and uh, I think that keeps everybody up and, I don't know, just ready for anything, so you're not really looking down on an opponent. Plus, I mean, you never know. In these conference games, anybody can beat anybody, so we, we always prepare uh, like they're a good 
Yeah. You're captain of the team. What do you do to make sure you keep the morale up uh, during games like this or just anything? How do you keep the team together? Um, myself, I'm not that vocal, so I kind of just try and lead by example out there, do the right thing. And like, if I see somebody who just had a bad play or something, I'll try and talk to them and say, long game, you know, get back out there, we'll be fine. But I mean, these guys, they, they know what to do and they, they're a good, good group of guys. I don't really have to say too much. Are you excited for the homecoming game? What are you going to do to make sure you come out and maybe have some more interceptions? Oh, I'm really excited. I can't wait. Uh, last year, Morrisville beat us and we're, we circled this one on the calendar. So everyone's real excited and we're just going to prepare and we're already looking forward to it now. All right, well, we're looking forward to seeing you out there. Congratulations on your win today. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with their kicker, Tyler Knighton. You threw, you kicked, I'm sorry, a bunch of field goals. What, what were you thinking when you had that opportunity as a freshman? Uh, I was just excited. Um, it's really cool going out there every single time. There's pressures on you, but you know you have to do your job and make it, and that's all I try and do. Do you have anybody on the team that you look up to that helps you? Uh, my kicking coach, Coach Cooper, he wasn't here today, but he's awesome, and uh, he's just a good guy. What are you going to do um, to prepare for next week's uh, homecoming game? Uh, just work on my mechanics and do drill work, and I'll be ready for next week. Is this your first year playing here because you're a freshman? Did you play in high school? I uh, just played my senior year. In high school? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I went to Fallsboro High School. So you're a local kind of. Yeah. That's not too far from here. No. So you only played one year in high school, now you're playing at Rowan? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. What made you try it? Um, my soccer team wasn't that good in high school, so our football team is always good. So I just went on the football team and I tried. I like pretty much was recruiting myself to come here. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't recruiting me, but I was trying really hard to come here because I wanted to go to school and it worked out. So it's all going well now. Yeah, well, congratulations. You had a great game. We look forward to seeing you next week. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm here with Coach Acorsi. You guys won 33-14. to 14. It was uh, in the beginning you guys came out with a touchdown. What were you thinking when they returned with a touchdown? What was going through your mind? Well, you know, they, they, I knew that, you know, they were going to be a good football team and they weren't just going to lie over and, and, and give us the game. So, uh, you know, I, I knew we'd have to come out and, and play really hard and, and get after it. And uh, we came out and jumped out to a little bit of a lead and then, kind of had a lull in the second quarter, but I thought overall we played pretty well. Yeah. This was your 99th win. Congratulations. Did you know that? No. <laughs> next week will be your 100th win. What are you going to do to prepare for next week? Well, it's Morrisville. They beat us last year. Um, you know, we got to keep winning in the conference to win the conference championship. That's what our goal is. Uh, again, they beat us at their place last year. They're playing really well. Um, so, again, it's just, you know, we're going to have to – play well in I think all three phases we played really well today special teams Tyler did a great job kicking the ball we played really well defensively we have all year but offensively we're really starting to come around and move the ball and score and and um, do some really good things offensively so we just got to keep doing those three things and I think if we continue to do that we'll, we'll put ourselves in a position to be successful how important are these conference games to you guys well they're huge because you know we lost two of the out-of-conference games so really the way for us to you know, extend our season and play in the playoffs if we want to is to win the conference. And we have to win one, uh, you know, we have to win each game at a time, take it one game at a time, because in our conference, you never know. All the teams are really, really good. But it's huge for us. I thought, you know, coming out one and two after the first three games was difficult. But if you look at the three teams, they might go 29 and one combined. So it's not like we're playing bad teams. Um, but I thought that would test us for conference play, and it has. So William Patterson, we've beat them 36 to 7 times all the times we've played them. This was our 44th time playing them. So I don't know if you guys know, but they are a weaker team on paper. It seems like, did you guys train any differently coming to prepare them? No, you never can. I mean, those are the team, you know, it's a trap game because it's homecoming next weekend. You know, it may not be a big crowd this weekend. You don't want to overlook a team that's been struggling a little bit to try to get ahead to the next game. But you just, you know. You can't do that. You can never do that in life. You can't take take things for granted. You have to play in the moment. You have to be in the moment. And you have to work in the moment. And I thought our guys did a good job of that today. So we didn't do anything different than we normally do. Um, and, and I think the players really responded and did a great job. What was going through your mind when Whit Marsland ran 92 yards for a touchdown? I was just hoping nobody would catch him. You know, last year he was a little hobbled. And um, he was getting caught a little bit last year. Um, we saw it last weekend against Cortland when he broke the two open runs pretty long, and you just kind of, you're just trying to 
somehow, to, you know, physically give them a little more speed and you're just trying to go like this to make them run faster, even though it's not going to happen. But he did a great job. He, he took the right angle. He, he kept his head up high, kept his knees up high. Um, that's a long run with a lot of guys chasing you. And I thought he did a great job. Kirk Kingett had two interceptions. I mean, that, that he played great today. What was your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, Kurt's a graduate student. We hadn't recru really recruited Kurt. He was a walk-on player. Um, so he's had to earn everything that he's gotten so far here in our program. Uh, luckily enough, he got into the school of business, going to grad school, playing football, extending his career, and he's just defensively the quarterback of our defense out there. And it's great to see. He doesn't say a lot. He's kind of a shy um, unassuming person and that's his nature but it's good to see a, a good person that works really hard um, you know get some things his way and and get a little accolade so I'm, I'm sure he wasn't the most talkative person um, but it, but it's good for him and he's a hard worker and um, you know it's good to see well congratulations on your win today we look forward to seeing you guys next week thank you we'll be here This has been a presentation of the Rowan Television Network.